Hi, and um, thank you for joining us today in this uh, quick demo. I wanted to share with you uh, our product, Watson Code Assistant, and how it is changing the way we develop applications in modern environments. Uh, with the use of AI, Watson X for Code Assistant is the leading enterprise solution for developers and, and for really having an AI agent helping your developers and us as developers code. In, so let me start by saying that the obvious that you're seeing right now is that it comes up with it comes with a intuitive, um, very simple to use extension on uh, Visual Studio Code. It's also available on Eclipse, and it comes in different languages. It has been trained by IBM with millions of lines of codes in different languages um, of enterprise uh, proprietary. Um, code that IBM owns and so it, it, it has a good standard for uh, the type of data that it was used to train right so let me let me give you an example of what we can start doing right like the first way you can interact with what's next code assistant is through the chat session that you see on the left um, you can simply ask it to do something or ask a question so I'm gonna ask it to show me an example of how to call the equals ignore case method in Java. I know that most developers, uh, enterprise developers are um, Java developers. So let me let me start by showing this, right? So it's gonna take the context, take the question using large language models, and it's gonna show me a nice example, in this case, how to use the equal ignore case with some very useful information, not only the code, but some useful, and I could just copy this and paste it on any of my uh, projects, right? I can clean the chat interface and let me switch now to another language, right? Like let's let's go um, with C and let's ask it to write uh, Let's call it a simple C function, right? Uh, that allocates an array of integers of a given size, right? So uh, any, any given size and returns a pointer to it, right? So it's a typical C type of function uh, handling pointers. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting this C function to have all the includes necessary, and we have there, yeah, the includes and then the function definition. And um, then there is a quick explanation of how to do it, right? And this is not just to be meant just for like a QA type of um, assistant. You can uh, continue on the context of your conversation and continue working with it, right? So let me, for example, now ask it um, so instead of um, instead of an int because maybe I, I, I was mistaken and I realized now that I need a, I need a float uh, and so it, it, it has the context of course of uh, of the communication um, even with a misspelled uh, I should expect it to be intelligent enough to realize okay he wants to have now a float in array instead of an integer array so it's it's a pretty simple uh, change of the code I mean I could have done it myself but just to illustrate the point that it is keeping the and there we go it's changing to full it is keeping the uh, context of the conversation and, it, and it's um, working with me right like the inside is working with me as I am developing my solutions as, as I am um, solving the problems or the use cases that I need to solve right so um, again I could uh, continue here um, adding or asking it to validate the memory um, you know uh, all that good stuff and it will continue to evolve the code that we are kind of developing together until I think it's, it's good enough for me to start um, using uh, in another right I could use one of the greatest features of um, what's an code assistant and it's the explanation capability that it really has right I can use it here directly on my <clears throat> On my uh, chat interface, I will show them how to use it uh, within your uh, code. So explain the code, explain this code, and it should be able to generate like a nice explanation of the code uh, that we have right now. Okay, here it's the step by step, step by step explanation of the code as I was saying. Um, I could ask it to generate a test. Case here, uh, unit test, but we're gonna actually do that on the encode 
um, capabilities. So before I, I jump into our encode capabilities, let me show you uh, a little bit of the feature uh, of the chat session. Um, I'm gonna be able to go back in, in on different occasions. So I'm gonna have like a historical account of my different chats with the um, um, with the Watson Xcode assistant. So I can jump here to chat sessions and I can you know, have my chat history. I can also have a prompt library of prompts that I've been working on, testing or saving. So all that good stuff. Let's jump into our encode, right? In encode, you, you'll notice that um, on top of your class declaration, for example, um, you will find the some of these explain document and unit test uh, features, right? Also for some of your uh, functions, you will see that, right? So if I click on, on any of these, um, like explain, let's, let's click and explain here, it's gonna, you know, now generate on here on my chat session, it's gonna generate uh, uh, give me a nice explanation of, of what we're doing in this class, right? Maybe I, I received this class from, from somebody else. This work is uh, not mine. And I need to have like a nice explanation. Or maybe I'm just uh, finished, done, and I just need to generate some documentation for my company, right? And so in doing so, I can also click document, right? And now it will generate a, a command, which is document this class reservation, and it will generate, um, auto generate the documentation of the class, right? Like. Um, and so that I can incorporate it into my into my actual code for the next developer to work or see, right? And I'm going to have it here on, on my chat session, and I can decide to copy paste it all the all the same all the document, right? Uh, or I can decide if I just want to use some pieces of it, right? Which is uh, very amazing. Now, last unit test, very important <clears throat> for any developer now to generate. Uh, good unit test and now having the power of AI by your side, you're going to be able to do that uh, in an unbiased uh, manner. So, and in a proper manner. So with that, we are going to see that we're going to have now um, analyzing uh, by uh, code assistant, the unit test. And now we have here this uh, unit test to be run, right? I could copy this and have a new file, a new Java file for my, um, uh, for my unit test. Now, let me show you uh, another feature um, of our explanation, right? We showed how we can explain um, a whole class, but what happens if I have, for example, this class now, and I would like to just have a piece of it be explained, right? Not, not, not all of my class, not all of my uh, functions, but just a snippet of code, right? Maybe I, I just don't understand what that developer did here, and I just need to get that. Uh, explanation right so I could highlight it right click and I can ask then uh, WCA to um, explain this code right now we see that it, it will show me on my chat session that explanation and um, is not only the, what I love about this uh, feature is not not only that it's gonna strictly go by line by line and just explain what each line does, but it's also gonna do that in the context of my servlet, in this case, in the context of all the document and, and, and how it affects the, the code around it, if you will, right? So th that is what we get right here, right? Like, yeah, we, we are getting the information of, of each of the line, but how does that uh, affect the other parts of my, of my servlet, right? So uh, that's a great feature. Now, Let's move into having an encode agent that is helping me writing code, right? Uh, and so here I'm assigning a new class, it's a user class, and I wanted to um, start giving me some um, advices of what I could be um, writing. And so I can use my uh, command um, dot or out dot, and I can also start writing and you know it's gonna try to suggest new uh, lines of code based on what it's already seen, right? So I'm gonna hit tab and I'm, auto, I'm gonna autocomplete those, right? I can also start uh, working, for example, with uh, another um, method. And now it's assuming I'm building a constructor. I'm gonna hit tab and, um, and, and you know, you have now all this uh, suggestion based on what it has seen in the past, right? Um, so I can definitely continue and, and it will just start uh, generating 
all the other lines of code that and you know it's um, supposed to go in here um, and I can just hit tab and just continue uh, working with my agent assistant uh, as you please right I can uh, for example I'm gonna do some setters and just maybe um, get name yeah sure that's what I am looking for and um, I can start getting all these optimization right all these uh, increasing efficiency now let's move into having um, some direct control of what I'm gonna do right I'm gonna Click here, and I'm going to say um, something like return even numbers from an array list, right? And then with that, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to start defining like public, for example, and then it's going to start auto-completing everything that I'm looking to do um with this with this uh, function right <clears throat> so um again again it's it, 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 it will continue just doing its 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 work okay so with this i think i i've been able to show some of the main features of, of what's called assistant and uh, i'm hoping that this covers most of your needs uh, in terms of uh, what a powerful tool this could be uh, for any developer out there. So uh, with that, thank you for your time.